All right, so I have yet another K7000 here on the bench. Now, I don't normally make videos on every single chassis I, re I repair. A lot of them just need minor tweaks and, you know, maybe a flyback or a cap kit or some reflow, and it's back up and running. I usually only make videos on the ones I know are going to be troublesome or I know are going to be good content. Uh, but so somebody sent me a box of four 7000s. This is the first one of the four that I'm working on. And after uh, taking it out of the box and doing an initial inspection, it all looked pretty good. Uh, there wasn't really any, uh, well it's already got a cap kit and a flyback and all of that rework was actually done fairly well. The solder joints and the rework was all pretty good. Uh, but uh, this was labeled here as V collapse, vertical collapse and horizontal curl. Now the horizontal curl is al almost always caused by incorrect sink hookup, uh, having the sink on pins 9 and 10 together when it should only be pin 9, or a simple horizontal hold adjustment. If you have a curl at the top of the screen, uh, you can usually, um, what's the word here, um, adjust that out. You can adjust it out by adjusting horizontal hold, and that'll fix that curl at the top of the screen. Or remove pin 9. 9 and 10 shouldn't be together on a uh, 7000 JAMA setup. So I'm not worried about horizontal curl. And I don't have any curl at the moment, I'll show you. But the V-collapse here that's on this label... I checked R91, R92, D13, D14, vertical IC, and all that checked okay. None of it was out of spec or shorted or open. That was all fine. So it shouldn't have had collapse. The only real issue was R101, of course, had a burned up pad. I did my normal jumper on that in R89. I did all the normal uh, rework that I do to fix all those pads. But none of that should affect vertical deflection at all. <clears throat> so this is labeled as, as vertical collapse. So if we look and see what it actually looks like, uh, it does indeed have some collapse. If you look at the entire screen here, you can obviously see that we have an issue at the bottom. But I'm shooting this video because I am 100% certain that somebody has that 50-60 Hz pot maxed out one way or the other. I haven't touched it. I did all the rework and the inspection and the testing and couldn't find anything wrong. So I went ahead and powered it up and tested it. And uh, I am absolutely certain that somebody's been tweaking on that 50-60 Hz pot. So I'm making this video to see if that is in fact the case before I touch it, just so we can see together in the knowledge of whether someone was messing with that pot or not. So if we grab this, the, uh, well, I call it the adjustment tool, but it's just a jeweler screwdriver. And we go here to the 50, 60 hertz pot right here, and we adjust it. Let's see what happens here. Let's get a decent screen. And uh, you know what? Let me zoom back out here. There we go. Okay, back on the pot, and here we go. There you go. <laughs> so I'll turn it. There's where it was, and now it's fixed. And no curl at the top either. So this was sent in for vertical collapse and horizontal curl. Focus up, you dummy. Focus, there you go. And there was nothing wrong with it. So this was a case of operator error. I just wanted to make this video to showcase how uh, knowing what to adjust and how these operate can save you a lot of headache and time because as you can see now, it's just fine. If we lower our vertical size to right uh, roughly there, uh, that should give us a pretty good image. Uh, let's do, let's make sure we can adjust our width, but we'll do that in a moment. But as you can see, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Uh, actually, I kind of shrunk it too much. But we no longer have any curl, or I'm sorry, not curl, uh, collapse. And my suspicions were correct. That was absolutely somebody had that 50, 60 hertz pot just tweaked one way to this one way. I believe it was all the way to the right. But there you go. Uh, operator error on this one. Just uh, ignorance on that pot is really can be detrimental to a lot of uh, a lot of operators because I've actually seen this before people send this these 7000s in and they think, think they have to collapse but it's not collapse it's just it needs adjustments or proper adjustments so as you can see that's all it was was 50 60 hertz pot um, let's see if we can make sure that we have proper width adjustment um, here's another one it's already it's already almost all the way out Well, that's a normal to have black bar on that side, but I think we're only about to right there. 
and we're all the way out on the we're pretty much all the way out on this as you can see so that's that's the that's the, as good as we're going to get on our width and it's about uh i don't know half inch on each side not too bad but another issue with the uh width cap so there you go uh could focus up this camera is a piece of junk there you go all right, so quick and easy repair. Uh, it did need some reflow on R101, R89, R89, easy for me to say. R101, R89 did need some reflow, like always on every one of these I ever get. But for the most part, all the rework was very nicely done. So, so some strategic reflow and an adjustment of the 50, 60 hertz pod, and it's back in business. So just a quick and uh, brief video to show the, what that pot can do, what it looks like when it's maxed out all the way in one way or the other. As you can see, there's absolutely no curl here. So either they uh, didn't have the H hold adjusted properly, or they've got the jumper on pin nine that shouldn't be a uh, jumper to pin nine. So yeah, thanks for watching. I got three more. I got, let's see here. Uh, behind my mat here, there's three more in the box. So stay tuned for those if they need any work. Otherwise, uh, I appreciate it. If you'd focus up again, piece of junk. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next series of videos. Probably the next three for uh, the same person. This is number one, I said. And there'll be three more here. So stay tuned. If those need work, if not, uh, we'll showcase what uh, is next on the agenda after that. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And we'll see you then.